What's up everybody? Today we're going to check out the United Plugins Bundle which contains three different plugins. Before we get started checking this one out, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. bundle has three different plugins here. Uh, Royal Compressor, which is normally 157 bucks. We have Fire Presser, which is a combination of four different compressors uh, that you can use an XY pad to blend between. It's pretty cool. Uh, that's $120 value. And then Front Daw, um, which is a $59 value. Front Daw is pretty unique. Um, I've added it to every single track here in this song. Um, it just kind of adds like a warm analog saturation to your tracks and it's meant to be put on as many tracks as you want. There's a very, very low resource footprint for this plugin for all of these, but specifically for Front Daw because it's meant to go on every single track. Um, you can adjust the amount of saturation you want with the Mojo knob which is right here. So that one's pretty cool. It's very, very subtle, but I've added it to every track and it really brings things to life. Now we have Fire Presser as well, which is going to be a combination of four different compressors and you can see them here in each corner. Now there are some presets for all of these just to kind of get you started, but um, this one's a lot of fun specifically because you can blend between all four of these. So it's very unique that you can just do it all within this one plugin and use the XY pad to get the desired sound for you and hear it all in real time. And then finally we have the Royal Compressor which I've used on a couple tracks here. This is a emulation of a very very vintage famous compressor. You can read all about it here on their artist page which is right here. So if you want to see some more videos about it going to the nitty gritty definitely go and check these out. Today I'm just going to kind of show you what they sound like and how much they can transform a track instantly just by adding them on. Now I have used a preset here for the Royal Compressor Heavy Guitars Parallel. I have tweaked a bit of the settings and then for this one I have used Drum Room Squash which is another preset and I also have tweaked a little bit of the settings there uh, to taste. So let's check out this song here. I'm going to turn everything off. I also have the Fire Presser on the Master so I'm going to turn everything off right now and we're going to hear what it all sounds like. So I'm going to start the song, um, turn everything off, and then you'll notice that I've had all of these um, files selected. I've turned on Fire Presser here on the master, and then I'm going to turn off the front doll, hit play, and then I'm going to turn it on. You'll hear how it immediately transforms the song.
hear, especially on those drums, they're very compressed and they make them sound absolutely huge. Um, so finally, I'm going to take this last part, turn off all of the effects, and we're going to do a quick A-B for this last part with the sub bass because you'll really hear it there on the bass and the drums here. So while all of these plugins, you know, are very powerful, I have a bunch of other plugins that I've always used, but what I really like, honestly, the most is Front Doll because I've added it to every single track and that brings things to life. Even without messing with any of the settings, it adds just a slight analog saturation to this track that sounds very, very good. And then of course you can really hear there on the drums and the sub basses how the Royal Compressor and the Fire Presser combine and really kind of make those sound huge as well as the front doll on every single track there. And then finally, the fire presser on the master, just using it as glue one, which is one of the presets. So that was just a very quick look in context, how this can transform your sounds. Of course, you can tweak everything to taste. I did use some presets and then slightly tweak them um, for some of the tracks, but others I just use plain presets. So that was a quick look. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time.